All right, welcome to this video. This video is in response to the complaints that some of my subscribers have given me after installing Microsoft Office 2021 and Microsoft Office 2019. Some of them have had the issue of uh, activation license after 30 days. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot post certain tips on YouTube. In fact, I tried posting one, yes, but YouTube deleted it. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I already have a community strike on my YouTube uh, channel because of that. So you can see that YouTube prevents certain things from happening on their platform okay so um, while i have everything running perfectly on my personal laptop the one i'm using right now running perfectly working perfectly for me uh, certain things i unfortunately cannot help you with via youtube or even via anywhere on the internet Okay, I just realized that there seems to be this law that prevents that type of behavior on the internet. Okay, so this video is to present to you an effective alternative to Microsoft Office. Especially for those of you who are students. I'm one of them, still a student at UO People, University of the People, if you know that school an online school now um sometimes you will be stuck seriously stuck when you are not able to use your your office program that is installed on your laptop you know as a result of uh, license activation issues okay so i'm going to show you what uh, i do when i'm in such situation uh, usually I install a free open source office, but two of them, very important ones. One is uh, open office, open office, one word. The second one is Libra office, Libra office. Libra office, I understand, is taken from open office. Okay, but. If you have any of this installed on your laptop, they can come in handy for you when you are trapped by Microsoft uh, activation license issue. Okay? So in this video, that's basically what I'm going to show you. Uh, and I'm going to start from the very beginning. That is how to uh, download the LibreOffice and how to install it, and then how to use each of the different programs. Basically, why you run after Microsoft Office is because of uh, three, three programs. Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, and Microsoft Excel. These three programs are usually the most often used. We have Project, we have Visual, we have OneNote, we have uh, Publisher, we have Outlook, we have Access, all Microsoft products, wonderful products, great products. I have them installed on my laptop here. All right. Okay, but people rarely use those other ones. Or they do use those other ones as often as they use these three Microsoft Office, Microsoft Excel, and Microsoft PowerPoint. Open Office has all these three, and they work almost the same way with, my, with, with the Microsoft uh, version. Libra Office has these three as well, and they work perfectly almost the same way as well. So, why not have a free and open source version installed on your laptop? in case your Microsoft doesn't really work for you, okay? Rather than getting trapped, you can easily 
uh, switch to the open source office program and to get your assignments done, to get your homework done, and move on. All right. So this video, in this video, I'm going to show you all of that actually. So let's go to uh, Chrome and go to our Google. We'll search for Libra Office. Libra Office. We're searching for Libra Office. It's coming up now. Here's Libra Office. It says Libra Office. Uh, Libra Office free Office download. Full version of it should compatible with dot doc dot docx dot xls dot these are all microsoft office file extensions okay which means if you create a file using any using using a libra office program and you want to send it as an attachment over the internet to another person on the other side of the world all you will need to do is to save that file in a compatible file. Once that is done, the other person on the other side can easily open that file and have it properly working, properly open using Microsoft Office on the other hand, on the other side. Right, so I don't see why you should really not have this Libra Office installed on your on your PC as well. All right, so let's uh, let's go to the LibreOffice download page. I just clicked on it. Here we are, LibreOffice. Here we are, LibreOffice. Uh, discover, download, GitHub, Introvert, Events, and so on and so forth. Now, let me just chip this in very quickly at this point because uh, uh, I also happen to be one of those who promote open source programs and uh, a lot goes in a lot goes into producing these programs and maintaining them all right please uh you may be on the other side of the world and you may have this very easy way of contributing for that please don't forget to click on this donate uh, on this donate button here all right and make your donation as much as you can please because these guys are amazing this is this is absolutely free full functional program it's been running for years so please do your best to do this donation all right so thank you very much for that okay so um here we are what is libra office do more easily quickly looking almost the same like microsoft office right okay great looking well structured documents use documents of all kinds it's almost looking like microsoft office get more features and extensions free as in freedom now and forever built on a strong heritage and so on and so forth that's 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 just wonderful all right so let's go and download it just go there which of the options we have downloaded libra office business users click here libra office or android and ios can you imagine i've not explored this option it is possible that if you have libra office installed on your laptop you can have another version on your phone android phone or iphone for example and link the two up all right which gives you the um, ability to be able to work on any project on your phone while away from your laptop and this will automatically drop on the same file and when you come to your laptop or your desktop PC in the house it's just one click it takes just one click for you to have it downloaded back to your PC from where you can continue your work I've not explored that I think it looks beautiful we'll have the app stores and Chromebooks release notes and so on and so forth right so uh, we will have LibreOffice online LibreOffice impress removed LibreOffice as app image, LibreOffice as snap, LibreOffice as flat bug, and so on. This is wonderful, right? So let's go to LibreOffice, download LibreOffice. We're there. Okay, so here says business users click here. 
Well, I'm not a business user, I'm just an individual. Right, let's go down. Download LibreOffice ideal for home users, students, and non profits. I think this is the option I'm looking for. Choose your operating system. This is the PC has automatically detected my OS Windows 64 bit. All right, so I'm going to just click download here very quickly. And guess what? It takes me to another page. Your download, your download, LibreOffice blah, 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 should begin shortly. Okay. Please click it, click the link if it doesn't start. It hasn't started. You can also manually pick a mirror or choose another language. Well, it hasn't started downloading. So at this point, I'm going to click. Please click the link if it doesn't start. So I'm going to click the link here. It's about 345 MB. Do I have that much data remaining? All right, so I'm going to click uh, the link here. Yes, because up till now, it hasn't started downloading. You can see I download the uh, pain is completely free. So I'm going to click on this, click on it. Oh, beautiful. So after clicking on this link here, after clicking on this link here, I now can see that it has started downloading. It's now downloading micro, oh, sorry, LibreOffice 7.6.3 for my Windows PC. All right, so we're going to fast forward this, uh, this part of the video. Okay. Perfect. Download completed. All right. So, LibreOffice is fully downloaded. Okay. Let's go to the download folder directly. Since the show folder is taking too long to open, here we are on the uh, downloads folder. Great. This is our LibreOffice seven point six point three downloaded. Would I double click on it? Maybe I'm going to look into that one of these days, you know, um, when it comes to slow PCs. Welcome to the installation wizard for LibreOffice and so on. So, right, so click next. You know, installation process usually is just about, uh, it's just automated. Just next, 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 let's make some options and then, boom, that's all. So here we're going to leave it on typical. Click next. Create a, short, a um, shortcut on desktop. Yep. Install. And then just wait for it to finish. Okay. But I'm going to fast forward this process. Okay. Yeah, because we can't. We can. All right. So finally, the um, the LibreOffice is installed. This is installation wizard complete. The completed the installation wizard has successfully installed LibreOffice seven point six point three point two. Click finish to exit the wizard. Right, so we're going to click finish here to exit the wizard and then we'll continue uh, from there okay shortly thank you